Hi, this is Golden Promise. In this video, I show you how we do a bedtime routine for a three years old. And I hope you can get some ideas to set up a routine for your young kids. a fruit but most people think it's a vegetable it's not oh that tricky tomato you is for what underground. underground where many things live and most things grow what's this um, potato. potatoes what are these little things? What, what is that? What's that? What is that? Well, that's an arrow. It's just pointing to what it's talking about. What is that? Yeah. What's this? Potato. Yeah, that's a potato. So this says potatoes, and this is a potato. So then there's an arrow pointing to the potato. What's but this? It's pointing to the Carrots. Yeah, and what does it say? Carrots. It says carrots, that's right. So it says carrots, and the arrow points to the carrot. What does it say, you think? Mm -hmm. What's it pointing to? Roots. Roots, that's right. And what's this arrow pointing to? Earthworms. Earthworms, that's right, earthworms. Okay. V is for vegetables. Vegetable. Vegetables are good for who? Everyone. Everyone. Do you like your vegetables? Yeah. You ate your vegetables pretty well tonight. Good job. W is for watercress. Watercress that grows wild near. What? The water. The water. Yeah. X is for? Three zero. Which is? What? Exactly. How many? Exactly. Exactly how many what? Vegetables. Vegetables start? In the park. <laughs> Start with X. X. Yeah, there are no vegetables that start with X. So they had to put this page in the book. Isn't that silly? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what would you name a vegetable that started with X? Xing out. Xing out? Like in Harold's purple crayon? <laughs> Y is for potato. Uh, not quite. It looks yeah. like a sweet potato. Yams, that's right. Which look like a sweet potato and can grow up to five feet long. How long is five feet long? Is that five feet long? No, right there. Is that five feet long? Right there. No. Is that long? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could you eat a yam that big? No. No. <laughs> and Z is for uh, zucchini. Zucchini. Just one uh, seed. Seed. Just a jiffy. Can grow enough zucchini to feed a whole neighborhood. Good boy. 
squeeze it up. It's fun to share. And it's fun to Part of the book. I'm read a couple pages. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Is this one pretty? You yeah. like the colors? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to read this one too, yeah. or just this one? Both. Yeah. Both. Okay. Four point seven thousand light years away. This is the. Crescent Nebula. Does it like look like uh, a croissant that you would yeah. eat a little bit? Yeah. yeah. This it's is a croissant. A croissant. That's some fancy bread from France. France. Yeah, France. Who do you know that's from France? I know. Auntie Sophie. Is she from France? Yeah. NGC 6888, Emission Nebula. Inflated by a furious stellar wind, this bubble of gas... <laughs> yeah, furious, isn't it? Masks the final countdown okay, to a supernova. Blowing at 3.8 million miles per hour, this wind emanates from a rare wolf rayet class star in the center. Probably this one. No, I think that one. It says it's in the center. Is that one in the center? No. No. Is that one in the center? Mm, I think it's that. Is that one in the center? Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe it's that one. It's so small. It's so small. <laughs> Super hot and extremely short-lived, hence their rarity, Wolf rants represent the final headlong rush of a massive star towards an inevitable supernova. No, no picking noses. Do you know what a supernova is? No. <laughs> yeah, supernova, big explosion. And what happens? What What's left over after a supernova? A uh, neutron star. Yeah, or... Or, uh, if it's really big, what's left over? Explosion. After? Well, there's the explosion, yeah. Uh, but what's left over after? There's a neutron star, or... Uh, a little bit. It's really dark. You can't see it. Yeah. But, but what's, what's something left over after a supernova that you can't see? It's dark. It's dark. So dark, you might even call it black. Black hole. Black hole. That's right. That's right. That's right. What's a black hole? A black hole. It's so heavy and so tiny that not even light can escape it. If you get too close, you get sucked in. Like going down a drain. And what should happen? And then the things that get sucked into the black hole, you never see them again. They go in and then they disappear. And they become part of the black hole. Me? Well, if you went inside, do you think you're going to go inside a black hole? No. No. It's in space. It's in space, yeah. It's not here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to become an astronaut and go inside a black hole? No. No. <laughs> Do you want to become an astronaut and look at a black hole from outside? Yeah. Yeah? Does that sound cool? Yeah. yeah. I would think so. Would we cool. can go up here. We can't go up here? We can go oh, on we can? 
We can oh, go we close to the black hole. Yeah, it might be dangerous getting too close. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But don't worry. We're not anywhere close to a black hole. Okay? I think the I think it's that one. You think it's that one? That's yeah. the neutron star right there? Yeah. This one? Not, yeah. not this one? It's not this one, right? Is it this one? Or mm. this one? Mm. Oh, that one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep changing my mind. You keep changing your mind? That's okay. That's okay. You want to look, read this I one? won't change my mind. Oh, you won't change your mind anymore? You've made your decision? <laughs> okay. 5,000 light years away. That, it takes light 5,000 years to go from there to here. Isn't it? No. No. No picking, please. 100. That's page 100. Yeah, this is page 101. This is the Lagoon Nebula, NGC 6523, an emission nebula. A pair of one half light year long interstellar tornadoes have materialized in this prolific bed of star formation. Heated by Herschel 36, lower right, the temperature difference between the hot surface and the cold interior of the clouds, combined with strong stellar winds, <sighs> may produce a strong horizontal shear that has twisted the clouds into their tornado-like appearance. Okay. For hugging and sleep? No. Can Papa hug you anyway? No. No? No. 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 with his Nana and Papa and Auntie uh, over the long weekend for Christmas. Thank you that we had so much playtime and so much attention. And thank you that Nana and Papa 
and as he got home safely, got him to sleep well tonight, and then he rested, fall asleep quickly, and he let me know that he's safe and that we all love him so much, no matter what. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.